Canvas family, Tinsley Stearns here, and today we're joined by a portion of our people team to talk about performance, manage bleh, performance management. Hello. Hello. That's right. <laughs> awesome. So it's a mouthful, and we know it's not everybody's favorite thing, but there's good reason to do this. Absolutely. Right? There yeah. Is. So talk to us a little bit about the process. Yeah, for sure. So uh, the process is well underway, um, yeah. so you should have received an email. Um, from our team as well as a notification from AltiPro. Um, so this is our second year in the row using AltiPro for performance reviews and you'll see two separate reviews. Um, so there's a review that we're calling the performance review so that's actually from your leader about you. Um, so it's a chance for them to kind of reflect on your year, uh, evaluate different metrics depending on what group you're in. Um, and then the self review which is such a great opportunity for you to talk about yourself, what you did, um, and kind of memorialize the year um, forever and always in AltiPro. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that's that's it at a super high level. It should look very similar to last year because it's basically identical. Um, there are some nuances, some changes in the language, um, but essentially what you're looking at for the performance review, the evaluation that your leader will do for you, um, has two parts. It's the behavior, so it's how you did your job, and then there's like kind of the what you did. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's the performance aspect of it. So we know that we get a lot of feedback about people wondering, should I bother with this self-review thing? Why does that matter? What do you think about that? Yeah, it's, it's your chance to brag about all the amazing things that you've done throughout yeah. the course of the year. It's a chance for you to bring up some things that you really wanna highlight to your manager. Um, and I really feel it's it's a great opportunity that Canvas offers to us. Yeah, awesome. One of the tricks that I would have for leaders and individual contributors is go back to your Outlook calendar mm -hmm. and really go back to your Outlook calendar and go back to January 2019, yep. February, and, and think about some of the meetings or things that you did. Go back to your email. Where were you in that place in time? And really consider that. One of the challenges with our current review is it is only once a year, and so um, we don't have in place yet a mechanism for uh, regular and consistent reviews to kind of roll in, and so um, it's challenging sometimes. We, we tend to put our own recency bias into the process and think, oh, well, this is something that just got done, so I'm gonna put that in the review. Well, think about what happened in February, March, April, those earlier yeah. months, because it may seem like a long time from now. It's not that far away, but it was still part of this year, and so brag about that too. Yeah. And when we think about how this process is going to unfold, mm -hmm. you gave a little tease that we might be seeing a little bit more frequent opportunity for some folks. We're headed in that direction in terms of giving more frequent feedback. Yeah, one of the cool things about uh, Canvas is there are already a lot of departments that do great job with one-on-ones. Yeah. -on yeah. um, there are even departments that do consistent kind of um, less formal reviews throughout the year. Yeah. And so what we're going to be offering next year is the ability to do quarterly reviews and goals and in AltiPro. And so this time of the year shouldn't feel like a really big event. Uh, over time, as we get better at this, uh, we'll be able to roll up some of those goals into your review, and it should really feel like a non-event. Yeah, awesome. So that's where we're headed eventually. It is, yeah. yeah. And uh, the, the quarterly thing that we're looking at, uh, I know when I, when I tell that to people, they get a little antsy. It would look a lot smaller than what the current review looks like. Um, and, you know, based on how we build it out, and, and we're doing a lot of listening to get it built out, uh, may not even have ratings in it. It might just be, you know, opportunity to look at goals, track progress towards goals, um, and then you would only have one rating. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. So talk to us a little bit about the process and timing and yep. what folks can expect. We will go for about a month. So it, it closes, the review closes on uh, January 17th. One of the things to think about is work with your leader because there might be other timelines within this month long period of time. So I know, for example, in retail, um, they're kind of doing a tiered approach where they're gonna ask for deadlines um, throughout the process. Mm -hmm. Because the year hasn't quite ended yet, they're gonna be pulling in metrics uh, at the beginning of January. For the rest of the organization, just work with your leader. Um, there's gonna be, uh, for the next few weeks, a series of webinars and additional communication um, to help support the process. Good. And then we go right from there and we pull that information into our compensation 
uh, and bonus information, and that is a, that starts off another process. Fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Did I miss anything? I think you got it. Okay. <laughs> awesome. One other thing that I think is really important outside of the process is that this is an opportunity for us to really elevate our values and the behaviors that we expect. So can you talk a little bit about the commonalities that we see across what we're measuring folks on when we look at performance management? I don't want to do all the talking, but I can take this one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, as you may have seen last year and hopefully have heard throughout the year, uh, we have a kind of a, what we call Canvas Conduct or there are 10 common behaviors. And um, so for the retail part of the organization, that represents 30% of the overall score and uh, they're kind of piloting something new this year where they're going to have two behaviors that are specific that are position specific for that 50 percent so i know i'm like throwing a lot of percentages it'll make sense when you when you actually see it um, but that's really important for us for the rest of the organization so two-thirds of the company will share us a common set of behaviors and that's important because it's not enough to just come in and do your job um, we also want you to be part of the team. We want you to serve others. We want you to demonstrate humility. Um, we want you to be innovative. And so these behaviors represent what we feel like everyone at Canvas should be. Um, and the reason why we're rating them is it's an opportunity to say, hey, you know, this is something that we really want you to focus on, or you're amazing at, at working in a team environment, or your communication skills are amazing. So it's a chance to kind of reflect on the behaviors because those behaviors are what kind of get you there from a performance standpoint. Awesome. Good. Anything we've left out or that you want to make sure people are aware of? All there right. probably is are things sure. that we left out that we'll realize <laughs> in like 10 minutes, but uh, no, it's, it's uh, you know, it is a process and, you know, one of the, a lot of people ask, and, and maybe I did let, leave this part, you know, why do we do this in general and, or why do we have ratings or what, you know, so to put it all together, um, you know, it is an opportunity to reflect and then the ratings portion does help us deliver and, and have an objective means through which to make compensation decisions. Um, it, it can be risky and somewhat and, and very unfair if we don't have a mechanism like performance reviews to make a decision on what somebody's compensation or bonus decision is going to look yeah. like. And so that this still serves that purpose and, and puts us in that direction. And hopefully the quarterly review will kind of tie it in and make it in a more streamlined, make it a more streamlined process. And as we look to be known for our people, having these kinds of conversations is a really important part of that. People want feedback, even though sometimes it's hard. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be working really hard uh, over the next couple months as we go through the process. Um, so it's about a month of uh, performance review where your leader or you are reflecting in your self review. And then after that month is when the actual conversations take place. Um, so if you're a leader, uh, stop by, say hi, uh, join one of our uh, WebExes that, uh, that are announced in that email, and then ask, ask away. We're here to support you. Great. Brilliant. Awesome. So I will not say performance management 10 times fast, but I think we <laughs> understand what we're doing. And would you guys be willing to do a little game with us, something a little more fun than getting a review? Bring it on. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ryan's hoping not to get injured, and I'm pretty sure that that will be the case. We're still with our cookie challenge, so the way that this works is each of our participants are going to have an Oreo on their head, and without their hands, in a minute, need to get from their forehead to their mouths with the Oreo. And Ryan's so confident, he thinks he might get both. So well, I just had an extra one here just in case. Yeah, that's right. So. <laughs> We've been debating the benefits of doing it standing versus sitting. We've been We're talking for 30 sitting. minutes about strategy in this game. That's right. So. Yeah. That's right. All right. Awesome. So you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. As ready as we can be? <laughs> <laughs> All right. On your mark, get set, cookie. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's see. Oh, Sam's got it on her eye. Oh, boy. You've got twin eyes right now. I wish I could get my camera out to take photos. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. So close. So close. So close. Oh, Ryan's got it! Oh, oh no! Okay, all right. Uh, five second roll. Okay. Yeah. Starting again. Oh, man, oh. you got Oreo. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Sam, oh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna have that one. All right, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so close. Graham, how much time do we have? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Oh, I think Ryan's got it. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was so darn close. Okay, Sam, oh, Sam, you've got it, you've got it. You're... Ah! Oh, all right, okay. Second. 
20 seconds. All right, see if you can do it. Yeah. See if you can probably get both at this point. Oh, Ryan, let's see, let's see. I think he's more driven now. I can tell. Oh, oh. Five seconds. Five Four, seconds. Sam, can you do it? Can three, you do it? Two, oh, one. she did! Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice, that man. was amazing. Holy <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> Winning. Winning. That was amazing. <laughs> yes. There will have to be a challenge. One. No one's going to do better yeah, than that. <laughs> That's really Do you have cookie crumbs all over my face now? Just a little bit right here, but it's pretty much good. Maybe. For two, I mean, I think you've earned those. That was awesome. Fantastic. Well, thank all you guys right. so much thank for you. joining us Thanks and for, for leading us through mm. performance management. And thank you for joining us. And we'll be back again next week as we continue to enjoy being Canvas.